What is going on everybody? How are you all doing out there? I hope this video is finding you well. Welcome or welcome back to Get Right On In. My name is Andrew for those of you who do not know and today I'm coming at you from the beautiful lovely Rogue River out here in Medford, Oregon. I do also have my little travel vlog that I've just started back up as well as my travel blog that I've had for a few years. I'll link down in that description box if you are curious as to what what I'm doing and where I'm at, especially if you have seen my life update or channel update or any other updates that I've had over the last couple of months because my life has been a little bit crazy. But today I just wanted to come in and talk to you all about this Write For Your Life challenge that I am taking place in. My good friend Caitlin over at Writer Uninterrupted has created this challenge that's a little bit of a mixture of like NaNoWriMo and a Patreon. In that the writers who are partaking, which is myself and potentially any other writer who is watching this, we all submit a cover letter discussing who we are as writers, the current work in progress that we've got going, as well as why we are taking place in this challenge. The way this challenge works is that through those cover letters, potential readers come through and they read about different projects and they go ahead and actually pledge on projects that they want to read. This competition is hosted through Buy Me A Coffee, so it is a minimum pledge of $5 for any of the writers or works that you want to read, and then you would continue to pledge throughout the month to continue reading what that writer is producing. The updates for the writers come out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but you as the reader do not have to pledge every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to keep reading. You can if you want, if you want to be able to keep up to date with said story as frequently as it is published, but you can also just come back at the end of the month and do one little $5 pledge to read everything that has been crafted for the month, or you can just do the initial pledge at the beginning just to show any of your support. And then at the end of the month, since Miss Caitlin has a way of tracking engagement and how long people actually spend on the chapters that they read, the writer who has the most pledges as well as the most engagement for their work wins the pot. So all of the money that has been pledged by all of the readers goes to the winning writer and hopefully that writer will use that money for editors or book covers or, or any other miscellaneous independent author expenses that we have. I have known Caitlin for just a few months now. We actually met here through YouTube. I'm very excited. I know she's put a lot of effort and thought into this project and she's gotten some local interest from her new News and it's been showing on nightly news reports so I know we have a couple of writers already I know that there's a couple of readers interested already and I wanted to make this video both to announce the fact that I am taking place in it and to call on other writers to come and join me there are some of you in specific that I am thinking of and I will be messaging you all personally if I have not already but I also wanted to let you all know about the project that I am going to be doing for this challenge a couple of months ago if you saw uh, my work in progress tag or my whip tag if you will you might remember that I have a little horror story about a restaurant where there is a demon living in the basement who is feeding off of the souls of its employees in exchange for their paycheck I will be going back into some edits for this project at last I've kind of put it off to the side for a little bit but anyone who knows me or has followed me on this channel for a while knows that I love me a good challenge so this to me sounded like a lot more fun than National Novel Writing Month that I also did on this channel during National Novel Writing Month of 2020. But for writers out there, you do not actually have to complete a work and you can use a work that is already in progress because the updates that you do are supposed to be reader ready as it is. So it's not as stressful as like a NaNoWriMo project just because you don't really have to think of anything new. It's mostly just about focusing on the edit. And then for the reader, you 
you get to be involved and support people because ever since opening up this channel, I have learned that people are actually a lot more likely to support independent authors than I had ever actually thought before. So I'm just excited to be able to take part in this challenge. It is the first time that she's doing it. And like I said, I've known her for a while and I know she's put a lot of thought and effort into this. So I'm really excited for her to be able to launch this. I'm very excited to be part of the initial sweep of writers who goes through this and I'm looking forward to what happens over the next month. So if you are a writer out there who is interested in participating in this with us, I have all of the information down there in that description box for readers as well. The deadline for submissions will be on April 1st, so as far as when this video comes out, you've got about a week or so to get your cover letter ready to go and emailed off to Caitlin to be included in all of this, but then throughout April, we'll just see how all of this goes. Like I said, I'm actually really excited for this because I enjoy challenges and it's been a while and while I'm out here traveling the world and living my best life, I still have to make time for all of my books because that's like half of the point that I even exist on this world sometimes I feel. So I'm super excited about what's to come from this. I'm very excited to be involved in this and I'm grateful for Caitlin for having met her through this channel and becoming really good friends. There's a lot of people that I've met through this channel that I've become really good friends with in real life and it's so weird because I never expected to have such like intensely close internet friends, but I do. So I encourage all of you up and coming writers out there to take place in this with me and for readers out there who love to support their local or not local independent authors, this is also a good place for you to go and show your support since it is through Buy Me Coffee that is kind of the whole idea is just that you would read through the cover letters and decide what topic or what book sounds like it would be worth the cup of coffee and you would bid at the minimum of five dollars from there. You can bid up to twenty five dollars each time if there is someone in particular that you would like to win. I know as of this recording I do already have at least one supporter so I'm kind of excited and nervous about that so thank you. You know who you are. I don't need to call you out because I don't know I feel like it's weird to do that but you know who you are because I let you know about this little competition going on so thank you for your support already. Thanks to anybody else who might consider supporting during all of this and thanks to anybody who has taken the time to watch this. I'm mostly more excited about the idea of other writers coming involved in this so if you have a work in progress please consider submitting it through the links down in that description box and at the end of April we will see who takes the pop. Thank you so much for watching and again all my travel stuff is linked down in that description box as well so if you want to know more about where I'm at and what I'm doing that would be the place to get all that information. Thanks again for watching. You all have a day just as beautiful as you and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!